A man was clearing the stones at the entrance of the pyramid when a dark green gas gushed out. The man lay on the ground, his body convulsing, his eyes bloodshot, a look of unbearable pain on his face. The robust crowd around speculated whether this was because of their own recklessness, causing the pharaoh to send down punishment for them. After the incident, the archaeologists were still determined because this was a unique pyramid. While the ones discovered so far had four sides, this one only had three. They saw this as a milestone discovery, believing that their names would be recorded in history if they could delve deeper into it. Despite the safety concerns, they couldn't be deterred. Orders had been issued to strictly prohibit anyone from approaching the pyramid, but this didn't stop them. Anna, being clever, came up with a compromise. She controlled a recording vehicle to enter the pyramid, thus avoiding the risk of poisoning. The recording vehicle rattled its way into the pyramid, but before it could go too far, it was attacked by an unidentified creature inside, and the footage disappeared instantly. Anna realized that the pyramid was not simple, but out of curiosity, she asked a few companions to accompany her into the pyramid. Subsequently, they all wore gas masks and ventured into the depths of the pyramid. Here, they found a large number of ancient tools. However, what was even more eerie was that under the fluorescent light, they discovered that the tools were covered in fresh blood. This discovery delighted them, and they continued deeper, hoping to find something more valuable. But within the unchanging interior of the pyramid, they lost their way. The walls around them were covered with densely packed hieroglyphics, as if warning them of the pharaoh's curse. To reassure the team, Anna lied and said that the exit was not far ahead. This also led them into a dead end. However, they also found the recording vehicle here. At this moment, the floor cracked and swallowed two of the team members. As the man removed his gas mask under the gaze of the crowd, he was hit by a falling stone halfway through his speech, immediately crushing his foot underneath. Seeing this, Anna quickly called everyone to help, trying to move the boulder to rescue the man. But no matter how hard they tried, the boulder remained unmoved, only causing the man to cry out in pain continuously. At this time, the woman in red beside them didn't want to sit and wait for death, so she began to explore the surroundings and actually discovered a hole in the ceiling. Unable to bear the oppressive environment here, she chose to climb up. She climbed along the hole and actually saw a passage, a discovery that delighted her greatly, but when she shone her light into the hole, she saw a strange creature inside. Terrified by the sight, she quickly told her teammates about the discovery, but before she could finish speaking, Daniel, who was searching for an exit nearby, found a stone door propped up by sticks, leading him to believe that this was the real way out. He called his companions, and together they worked to remove the sticks blocking the stone door. When the door finally opened, it revealed a dark and deep passage, but before they could leave, they had to reassure the man whose thigh was pinned under the rocks. Anna told the man that they would find help for him as soon as they left the pyramid. However, they had barely taken a few steps when they heard the man's screams from behind. They hurried back, only to see long bloodstains on the ground, with the man nowhere to be found. Meanwhile, Daniel began to inspect the surroundings and accidentally triggered some mechanism. Soon, the passage began to fill with a large amount of sand, frightening everyone into running away, fearing being buried alive. But Anna, who was a step slow, was trapped by the quicksand and couldn't move. Fortunately, Daniel didn't give up and managed to rescue Anna from the quicks, and... Together, they reached the end of the passage only to see the red, clad woman surrounded by a group of cats where she had fallen, and Daniel, while opening a door, was pierced through the chest by a monster. The terrified Anna was also dragged away by the monster, and as the unconscious woman opened her eyes, a strange creature appeared before her, staring at the trembling Anna seemingly considering whether to steam or stew her. And this Anubis creature with the body of a man was the Anubis, the god of death, from Egyptian mythology. At this critical moment, Anna finally cut the rope around her waist with a small knife hidden there and then slashed at the Anubis in front of her, wanting to take the opportunity to escape. But before she could take two steps, she was blocked by a group of cats that suddenly appeared. Thinking she was doomed, Anna found that the cats didn't pay attention to her, but instead rushed towards the Anubis behind her. Taking advantage of the moment when all the cats were fighting with the Anubis and ignoring her, Anna seized the opportunity to run away without looking back. She climbed up the ladder leading to the exit, exerting all her strength to try to leave the pyramid. When she saw the light ahead symbolizing freedom, the long struggle and fight left her exhausted, and she collapsed in front of the exit. Just when she thought there was no hope of escape, a boy appeared in her sight along with the sunlight, igniting hope for life in Anna again. 
But at this moment, the Anubis suddenly appeared behind the boy, sending shivers down Anna's spine. In the end, both the boy and Anna became prey in the hands of the Anubis, their lives taken away in an instant. It seemed to confirm that none of the creatures disturbing the pharaoh's sleep could leave here alive. And the construction of this three-sided pyramid was to trap Anubis and prevent it from running out to cause havoc in the world.